morning. Yeah, go. So here we have the HTC Titan, uh, HTC's first 4.7 inch device, running Windows Phone 7, uh, codenamed Mango, so it's a new release of Windows Phone 7 that we've introduced on this device. Um, I'll go through the, the main hardware changes, and then we'll talk about HTC, and then obviously uh, Windows Phone as well. At the moment, uh, like I said, it's a 4.7 inch screen, we have an 8, megabit, uh, 8 megapixel camera on the back, with a dual LED flash. Uh, we're calling 720p as well. We have a 1.5 gigahertz processor in here with a gig of RAM. Um, we also have uh, a few changes that make the hardware acceleration run slightly nicer within the graphics, so for gaming and that sort of thing. There's some changes within the hardware and the processing for that. Um, obviously, I can't demonstrate that right now, but if the user would experience that. So in regards to HTC, we've changed the HTC hub slightly. Obviously, uh, you have that sense looking feel to this sort of side of the Windows Phone handsets. Scroll across, excuse that. Uh, they have the stock information, usual news feeds, and some featured applications there as well. Just go back. We also have HTC Watch, which would be familiar to our uh, Android family on the Sensation and Flyer. So we tap on that, as you can see, it takes a few seconds to load. Even over a, a, a non-network, uh, you can still see the movies you've downloaded. Uh, have a look at the video store and see what's available to you. You see your movies, my TV shows available there. You can search some movies there as well. Just quick taps, very simple, very easy to navigate around that. So we just go back out of that, double tap the back and press the Windows key will take you back to the main menu. We've also included the DNA uh, connected media section again from our Android devices. So you can stream all your content over Wi-Fi, music, video, photos, very, very simple. Just connect to a DNA enabled source and stream that content to a big screen. So within a few additions on this device um, and also the radar, we have uh, some changes to the camera. So if I just spin that round, um, I'm not going to take an image, but I'll show you the settings and what we've done to change in here. Very quick to turn the flashes on and off, but as you can see, we've put in panorama and burst shots in here as well. I'll just show you the panorama and show you how easy it is. If I take a picture, press the camera button once, and then move to the next dot, and then I press the button, but you get the idea. You move it to all the dots to take the complete panoramic shot. So there's a few changes we've made. Um, within, sort of, for example, the people tile, Microsoft have added some contacts and contact changes here, so you can group your contacts together. We've got some example ones here of family. You can see someone's family listed there. Text or email everybody in one hit. Very, very good for, for corporate groups, uh, you know, local tennis clubs or whatever. You know, it could be anything, but you can have a text to everybody in one hit. Very, very good little touch. Within Bing, you just press the search button, it will automatically take you to Bing. Microsoft have changed and added a few things across the bottom. We have the local search icon, which will search everything that's local to you. We also have the uh, Bing music icon, which will search the music that's playing and show you the, the band or the artist that's playing. We also have uh, Bing Vision, which you, is a really good feature in the, in the sense that you can scan text, take a picture with it, and it will translate it to another language, or you can scan QR codes and Microsoft tags there as well. Very nice little touches that Microsoft have changed. And again, this is just the Microsoft Windows Phone 7 for the foreseeable future. That's the Titan.